Summer Reading Program 2021. Today we're going to be making paper flowers. So these are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need your template that's provided in the package, some scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, something to color with. There's color pencils. I ended up using watercolors and your origami paper which is also provided in your package. So let's go ahead and get started with the first step. So first you're going to need to cut out these templates. You're going to use these templates to trace and to make your the rest of the petals you'll need for this project. So go ahead and cut all of them out. Okay, once you have those all cut out, you're going to trace and the amount of petals you'll need. So for example, I'm tracing number three and I'm going to need four of these petals, so I'm going to trace it four times. So right now, before you cut them out, is the prime time to color them in. It's uh, Depending on whatever color you want your flower to be, go ahead and color those in before you cut them out. And then once you're done, go ahead and cut out those petals. Just like that. Okay. Once you have all your petals cut out, you're going to need to prep them. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut a slit about an inch deep in the middle of each petal. Just like that. I like to uh, group them together just to kind of get this part over with faster. So now we're going to curve our petals. So this is how you curve it. You're going to take the edge of your scissors, you're going to place it in the middle of your petal, and you're going to, um, with a little bit of pressure with your thumb, you're going to glide it upwards. And this is going to create a nice curve on your petals. So again, in the middle of your petal, using your thumb to create some pressure, you're going to glide it up. Now this is just going to give it a nice curve, a real feel to your petals, a real look to your petals. Okay. Once you have that done, we're going to finish up prepping. We're going to, the slit that you created, you're going to place a little bit of glue right on the edge. You're going to fold over a little bit of the other edge onto it to create this cup. It's a little bit of glue. You're going to fold over and stick together. So glue the edge, overlap it a little bit and glue that on. You're going to do this to all of your petals. So doing this technique, what, the, what it does is it makes your petal, your flower look more 3D so that it sits up instead of flat. And gets you a nice looking flower. Okay, so now that we have all that done, we're going to glue up our circle. You're going to take your biggest petal, which is I believe petal number one, you're going to meet that corner of your cup to the edge of the circle. Now for the next one, you're going to overlap it a little bit on your other petal. Again, the corner meets the edge of the circle. And this is going to be your round one. Now go ahead and continue with the rest of the petals. Glue the bottom, overlap it slightly on the last petal you placed. The corner meets the edge of the circle. Now you're going to see me throughout the video kind of recurve my petals. I really like my curved petals. Um, so this is totally optional. You don't have to redo it, but I really like the look of the curved petals. Okay, that's round one. We're going to move on to round number two. Same thing. So essentially this is what you're going to do for all rounds. You're going to glue the middle, uh, place your petals, but what you're going to do is you're going to place your petal in between the other rounds petals and you're going to place down and you're going to need to overlap your petals slightly just like that there is your round two round three same thing you're going to glue your middle place your petal in between the prior two petals hold that down make sure it really sticks to your flower glue that up overlap it in between the other two petals and that is your round three round four and round five will be exactly these steps
Okay, that's round four. Now on to my round five. Go to the middle. Place my petal in between the prior two petals and glue that on. You're going to go all the way around until you have no more petals. Okay. Perfect. So there you have it. Go ahead and fluff it up a little bit. And there is your paper flower. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and continue reading for Summer Reading Program. Bye.